Why so much hype around sulforaphane? Are you wondering what is sulforaphane and what is it good for? Are you looking for foods that are high in sulforaphane? If you have these questions, then you are in the right place. We will answer all these questions for you in this video. So sit back and watch this video to get to know more about sulforaphane. This video is brought to you by Good Health Corner. At Good Health Corner, we bring research health information in a simplified manner that is easy to understand. If you like what you see here, we request you to support us by clicking the like, subscribe and the bell button. This will ensure that you get notified every time we release a video. Disclaimer: The health statements made in this video and the site are not intended to diagnose, treat or cure or prevent any disease. They are solely for informational purposes. Always consult your doctor before implementing any treatment protocol. Sulforaphane has gained interest in the recent years due to the various health benefits. It is found in multiple cruciferous vegetables. Its benefits range from being an antioxidant to detoxifier, great for brain health and many more health benefits. So what is sulforaphane? Sulforaphane is produced through the process of converting glucoraphanin by an enzyme called myrosinase. Glucoraphanin is present in cruciferous vegetables. So when these cruciferous vegetables are cut, chopped or chewed, it releases this enzyme called myrosinase. Myrosinase then converts the glucoraphanin in the vegetables into sulforaphane. So, when you're chewing on a broccoli, you're essentially releasing the myrosinase, which is converting the glucoraphanin in the broccoli into sulforaphane. One important point, myrosinase is heat sensitive. So when you're broiling broccoli, you're potentially decreasing the activity of myrosinase, thereby reducing sulforaphane production. Now let's understand the benefits of sulforaphane. Anti-cancer Sulforaphane has shown anti-cancer properties against prostate, breast and urinary cancer in preclinical studies. Antioxidant regulation and detoxification Sulforaphane is an NRF2 pathway activator. NRF2 is a protein that regulates antioxidants and protects cells from oxidative stress. It also activates phase 2 detox enzymes to cleanse the body of harmful carcinogens. NRF2 lowers DNA damage and is shown to help in the detoxification of air pollutants like benzene. Anti-inflammatory Inflammation is at the root of any chronic illness and it can lead to neurological disease, gut issues and can also lead to cancer. A study done in 2018 shows sulforaphane can suppress chronic inflammatory conditions. Supports brain health Sulforaphane has shown to cross the blood-brain barrier. This ability to cross the blood-brain barrier helps to deliver the antioxidant, anti-inflammatory and detoxifying properties of sulforaphane directly to the brain and assist in brain health. This has shown remarkable benefits with individuals on the autism spectrum disorder, schizophrenia and in cases of brain inflammation induced depression. Supports heart health. One of the significant causes of heart disease is hypertension. An animal study conducted in 2012 showed the sulforaphane could reduce blood pressure by stopping a DNA biochemical linked to hypertension. Another study in 2016 on rats showed that sulforaphane could lower blood pressure and positively impact lipids. Now let's understand some foods which are high in sulforaphane. Broccoli sprouts. Broccoli sprouts are the most concentrated source of sulforaphane in foods. You can add this to your salad or make a smoothie in a blender so that the sprouts are crushed and drink it immediately. Broccoli Broccoli comes second to broccoli sprouts in sulforaphane content. High in fiber, it helps in gut health and contains a high amount of vitamin C. It is also high in vitamin K and calcium which promotes bone health. It's best if you can eat raw broccoli in a salad or very lightly sauteed to get the best benefits of sulforaphane. Cauliflower In addition to the sulforaphane, cauliflower is high in fiber, good for the gut and high in choline. One cup of cauliflower contains 45 mg of choline, which is excellent nutrient for the brain. Kale K 
Kale is one of the healthiest greens and is one of the most nutrient-dense foods. It is rich in antioxidants like quercetin and camphorol and is an excellent source of vitamin C, vitamin K and beta-carotene. Kale packs a solid punch of sulforaphane and supports a strong immune system, aids detoxification and fights cancer. Brussels Sprouts Brussels sprouts are a nutrient-dense food and especially high in vitamin K, vitamin C and lots of fiber for an excellent gut health. Brussels sprouts are high in antioxidants and one of the best plant sources of omega-3 fatty acids. It is also sulforaphane rich and is known to be effective against certain cancers. Cabbage Cabbage is high in vitamin C and K and is anti-inflammatory in nature. The fiber content in cabbage helps in digestion and bowel movement. It can also lower LDL or the bad cholesterol. It contains a substance called phytosterols that are structurally similar to cholesterol and reduces cholesterol absorption in the gut by blocking it. Lastly, cabbage being a sulforaphane rich food activates other beneficial actions in the body. Bok choy Bok choy is high in iron, phosphorus, calcium, magnesium, zinc and vitamin K. It contains choline, an excellent brain food and selenium which is linked to fighting infection and building immunity. And the sulforaphane in bok choy makes the nutritional impact of the food a lot more powerful. Watercress In addition to sulforaphane, watercress is high in vitamin C and carotenoids, providing an all-around protection including eye health. You can put it in your salad, add to your eggs or have it in place of lettuce in a sandwich. Arugula Arugula is another wonderful sulforaphane rich green from the Mediterranean region. It also contains calcium, potassium, folate, vitamin C, vitamin K and vitamin A. Mustards Mustards are good sources of omega-3 fatty acids and contain dietary fiber. It is a rich source of selenium, magnesium and manganese and other nutrients. It is high in glucosinolates which are converted to sulforaphane. It also contains synegrin, a glucosinolate compound that gives the pungent taste to mustard and possesses antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, anti-fungal and anti-cancer properties. Let's discuss a sulforaphane hack with mustard seeds. This study demonstrated how to improve the bioavailability of sulforaphane by over 400% by using mustard seeds. If you remember, myrosinus is heat sensitive, but glucoraphanin is not. So in cooked broccoli, the glucoraphanin needs active myrosinus to convert to sulforaphane. Mustard seeds releases this myrosinus when powdered. And this helps in converting the glucoraphanin present both in the broccoli and the mustard seeds and this can increase the sulforaphane production by four folds. Isn't this a great hack? The good news is that you can also get the benefits of sulforaphane from specific supplements. We have listed some great sulforaphane delivering supplements in the description below in this video. These supplements contain active myrosinase with glucoraphanin to deliver sulforaphane. We hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like to see more such videos, we recommend you to subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up to this video. A little bit of encouragement from you will go a long way for us. Thank you very much and we hope to see you again. Bye for now.